I saw you staring at me from afar, away, at another table at the airport. I could feel your icy blue eyes gazing at me strongly from here, but I had no idea who you were. You seemed like you wanted something from me, for a long time. I looked back at you, as you looked away, not making eye contact. That skirt is skimpy. There's no way you're going out in that. I'm 16. I think I can make my own decisions on what I want to wear. What do you think about the skirt Gemma is wanting to go out in? Oh! As I go to order my coffee, I remembered seeing at the checkout earlier the baggage pickup and the entrance of the airport. It was almost as if you had been following me around like a two-year-old wanting candy. I fumbled around with my money after I ordered my coffee, feeling your gaze on my back, my hair stuck up, frightened. Sorry, we don't take that British coins here, miss. Uh, I'm gonna need some cash. Here, let me pay for you. I trusted you, and I guess that was my first mistake. I was distracted by the families around me, the planes going by. I looked back over as you had a smile on your face, walking back with a cup in your hands. You looked at me and me only, nobody else, so nobody wondered of anything peculiar. My name is Gemma. Where are your parents? They're at the boarding area, waiting for a flight. I should probably go back soon. I drank more to shut myself up. You were sweating, but you couldn't have been hot. It was freezing in here. Just nervous, I suppose. Then you laughed at me as I began to wonder what I should do next. But you felt comfortable. It was then that I noticed something wasn't right. You would ask me a million questions, making me drink more and more continuously. You were older than any boy that I had ever spoken with. This wasn't right. You went to touch my hair. I got hot. Everything changed. It was in that moment that I realized sugar wasn't the only thing in my drink. You must have slipped something in there. You're with me now, Gemma. Don't worry. We're celebrating. Where's my family? Where are my parents? I panicked to myself, not sure what to do. I scavenged for a door to the outside, opening it suddenly. I was in the desert. All sun, all sand, no houses, no humans, no animals, just me. I dug my face into my hands, waiting to wake up from a nightmare, crying for a while. Nothing. This was real. I saw you coming towards me then. But I felt paralyzed as he grabbed me. This was reality. There's no use. You'll never find anything. No phones, no nothing. You're stuck with me. Here, I wouldn't bother trying. 